guys welcome back to the channel today's video is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install a lace wig for beginners the wig we're going to be installing in this video is by lolly hair they sent over their 13 by 6 26 inch body wave wig now let's start with step number one step number one is always wig cap you should never install your wigs without a wig cap we have different types of wig caps in the market they have a regular wig cap with different shades of brown you just have to look for the shade of brown that suits your skin tone and then we have the black wig cap which you should never use to install your wigs and then we also have the hd wig cap hd wig caps are usually the best for bald cap metal but i don't do the bold cap method because honestly i feel like it's too much work and for a beginner i don't think the bold cap method is ideal i go for the regular wig cap that suits my skin tone because i wear mainly glueless wigs it should be nicely tucked under the wig cap and make sure that it's flat okay the key is for your hair underneath the wig to be flat so your install can come out flat then the first thing you want to do is cut the extra lace at the back of the wig key is at the back not the extra lace at the front but the one at the now, back now this step is totally up to you you can choose to wear the wig with the adjustable strap that comes inside the wig or you could choose to wear it without i choose to always wear it without because i don't like tension like too much tension on my head when i wear my wigs if i am not using a spray to hold down the lace then i would use the adjustable strap to secure my wig but since i'm using a spray or had adhesive or anything you're using to glue down the lace or hold down the lace i don't like to use the strap now the next step is very important and crucial in your installation process you want to wear the wig and you're wearing the wig to see how it fits one and two to see how much lace excess lace you need to cut around the ear some lace comes are actually perfect where you don't need to cut the excess lace around the ear to fit your your scalp properly while some actually do i prefer for my lace to be bigger because if it's bigger it's easier for me to customize and fit it the way i want sometimes i want a widow's peak sometimes i don't want a widow's peak I love my lace to be bigger so I can frame it to my face the way I'd like. If the lace is smaller, then it's harder for you to manipulate it on your head, if that makes sense. But this is exactly what you need to do. Put it on your head so you see how best it fits where needs to be cut and how you need to cut it so this next step is what i call the lucy juice this is a mixture of foundation setting spray and rubbing alcohol i do this because i no longer bleach my knots and the reason i don't bleach my knots is because i want my lace to last longer i feel like when you put too much chemical on your lace it has the tendencies of shedding faster if that makes sense so i use this mixture to tint my lace and when i tint it sis it's stuck it stays and it's so easy like it's a lifesaver and it's so light on my head as well so i just go ahead and shake it really well spray it into my lace and then i use a blow dryer to dry it. now you have to keep in mind that when you wash your wig you might have to reapply so many times i have washed my wig and it stays like it's stuck i don't know what it is but it's just stuck so many times but sometimes you just need to go ahead and touch it up again but it's so easy all you need to do is just spray 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 and dry i love this method so much i will not go back to bleaching you all see the difference between how the lace looked before and how it looks now now i forgot to mention that we do have different types of lace my preferred lace choice and type is hd lace the melt is always seamless and it's thinner it's thinner and it will melt into your scalp easily right but we do have transparent lace and then i think we have regular brown lace i don't use a regular brown lace anymore but it's either transparent lace or hd lace this particular lace is transparent lace so that's the reason why i had to go in and tint it sometimes with hd lace you you might go in and tint it as well depending on your skin tone for me i do tint my hd lace sometimes sometimes but this is transparent lace and do you all see how melted this already looks it already looks like the installation is going to come out well and this is the base that you need for the next step now next step is to wipe your edges with rubbing alcohol and wipe this is very 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 important there are a lot of times people say that got to be does not work for them or the ebbing spray doesn't work for them it doesn't stick now the reason why it doesn't stick for you is because your edges were oily when you sprayed it you need your edges to be clean like squeaky clean clean before you lay your lace down if your edges has oils your glue or spray will not hold i repeat 
will not hold me i had makeup on which is very very important that i wipe really well before i go ahead and use my spray. grill spray it's still got to be it is my baby i use this to lay my lace every single day every single time every single hour it doesn't matter i love got to be i think i've hacked how to use got to be and i'm just comfortable using it pretty spray in two ways i could spray directly on the lace or i could roll up the lace and then spray on my head before i put the lace back down if that makes sense you guys see what i'm doing right sometimes i do either or sometimes i do both in one installation my first spray i don't dry i just hold it down for a few seconds just for it to kind of stick and melt naturally before i go in with the second spray then i dry the important thing you want to do when you're spraying your lace down is to make sure that you're combing through every spray because it is spray adhesive so your hair on the lace has a tendency of actually coming together like squishing together if that makes sense i don't know the right word to use but listen you have to comb as you go comb through that hair don't be afraid to comb through it once you spray on the lace comb it it will give you a seamless and flawless hold and install then you dry i take turns side by side while i am laying the lace down so i do one side first melt that side dry it and then i move on to the other side you want to take it side by side you don't want to do it all at once if not it will not hold it will not stick spray comb dry spray comb dry that's how you're going to get a flawless melt now we're going to move on to next step which is cutting the lace now this is another crucial part of your installation because however you cut this lace is how it's going to be forever for beginners it's easier for you to use a blade like a razor to cut the lace because if you use a scissors and you're not skilled with using scissors you'll ruin it okay so use a blade because it has the rough edges one and then two you're able to um cut seamlessly right now what i do is i use a scissors first to cut my starting points for each side and then i cut the excess lace off first so i don't cut close to the hairline first i cut the excess lace off first then i go in with a small scissors i think this is like a cortical scissors or something like it's the small scissors you guys see the one i'm using then i go and use that to cut around the hairline it is key for you to do it in steps especially as a beginner if you rush this process trust me you will ruin the entire wig and again however you cut the wig is however it will stay forever there is no undoing if you mess this step up next step is totally optional but i go in and create a sideburn for myself because i like the look i i'm not a full baby hair type of girl sometimes i do it on wigs sometimes i don't like most times i actually do not so using the opportunity to lay my lace down as well because as you know we cut the lace and usually when you cut the lace you have some extra lace that needs to be melted so you always have to go back and touch up with the spray whatever makes you feel comfortable like however you think you'd like your wig to be customized on you that suits your face and all that stuff is how you're going to create this step is to flatten your part with a wax stick a wax stick is essential in your installation process you cannot install your hair without a wax stick and that's just the truth i used to use a styling foam before but it just kind of made my hair greasy and it wasn't as slick as a wax stick you need a wax stick it's very important and alongside a hot comb you cannot install your hair without a wax stick and a hot comb that's just the truth you will never get that seamless flat melt of your hair if you don't use a hot comb and a wax stick a trick to get the top of your wig flat is to not just comb through it but press the straight side of the hot comb down when you're coming through the hair if that makes sense honestly just watch what i'm doing because i think it makes more sense for me to show you than to explain it but make sure that you're actually pressing it down so you're not combing straight words you're actually pressing it down so that the top of your head can be flat i hope it makes sense i hope it makes sense next step is baby hairs now this is completely optional totally up to you like i said earlier for me i don't like a lot of baby hairs i do them just sometimes but i love my sideburns so what i'm going to be doing right now is just cutting it curling it 
cutting it again and then slicking it down now for coiling it i go ahead and use a tiny straightener and the reason why i prefer to coil it first is because it makes it easier for the product to just gliding and it makes the hair there softer and coilier when you're about to slick it down like it's just easier when you curl it first then cut it then um slick it down than when you just go straight up and you know put the products on you guys see what i'm doing right yeah so i like to do that and then i cut it again because obviously i don't like long baby hairs like that doesn't make any sense and it's not realistic so i like to cut it after i've curled it because it just makes the hair softer and nicer and then to hold down or slick down my sideburns i use got to be i use got to be or the ebon um the ebon gel they both work the same to me i think the hold on the ebon is stronger but i just love the got to be's consistency always so another thing again that you want to do is make sure that you're wiping the excess because yes you're going to have those marks when you use the spray just make sure that you use the same wipe that you used with the um, rubbing alcohol to just kind of clean it up and then what i like to do is just use the tip of my fingers with some spray and just kind of melt it down like an extra hold just to slick everything down like it's an extra step that i like to do press it in so that you melt and then it also prepares me for the band which you see later then i actually would go in and use my foundation or powder to you know put back my makeup and also touch up the hairline a little bit i don't need it but honestly i just do it so you don't have to it's an optional step but an important step is the band the band will just seal everything together it will melt your lace it will put your wig and installation all together you need to leave it there while you style your hair because it will help it melt further so that your wig can last longer i go ahead and dry it a little bit after i've put on the band then i go ahead and style for this particular wig i'm not doing too much honestly i just wanted some waves in the hair so i'm just going to use this um, curler and just put some waves and that's it for this installation it was quick easy simple i hope you guys were able to follow through the process let me know in the comment section if you have any questions since we're done with the installation i'm just going to let you guys watch the remaining of the video i'm going to leave the link to lolly hair in the description box below alongside any other details thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next one just I hate the fact that we lost such hey, The Uber pulling up on call Tell me as you trying to fall through I'ma leave it up to you What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you Know we all for do what you're doing right now. right now Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all loud I know I want you Long time since the last time Got a tab, we could run up from the way now we grown up My look, yeah, made the realest ones nervous But if you want it, tap it I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash land We could keep the pace on slow jam Don't leave me on red Can we go back where we first began? No plans, all we had was the moment Just text, I know it's a toss Now I'm paid by the sentence Taking my time with it Baby, give me yours So I could get some butterflies trapped in your rib cage. Let me know we on the same page Give me with a text voice, note or an emoji Waiting on day for your name on the ID So if you want it, tap it I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash in And we could keep the pace on slow All we have is the moment. Just text, I know it's a toss up.